Motherfuckers quick scoping in COD. Oh shit, they're back. Rupert's back. Rupert just loves our setup. Oh, and he's got the Canadian. This is hey, this is an international war here. It's true. This is dangerous for Rupert. Rupert the UN Aiden. the UN might get involved here. The United Nations might get involved. <coughs> Bless you. The Uni Rupert, this bracket? So, Calvin did come from just beating Monkey, who beat him in doubles yesterday, and then in losers, Calvin and Yingo beat Monkey and Decker in doubles, then got to main stage, and then got stomped by SA Nick and Goody. <laughs> um, with the Monkey Aiden set. With the Monkey Aiden set? The Monkey Aiden... Monkey actually won the pre-local. He won the shlocal? Uh, against Aiden. Uh, yeah, that checks out. Aiden would have been jet-lagged to fuck. Calvin. 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 As a red sheik. Yeah, that's why I'm putting in red sheik. You've written sheik ed. Okay, you're making fun of me because I have a disability. That's fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, um. I don't know how practiced Rupert is, to be honest, against a sheik. It looks like he's just throwing. He's throwing, yeah. That's fucked up. It's the red set. That's fucked up. Red set. The who's, red who's set? Who's redder? They're talking about the pillow. I'm actually kind of curious about his question. They're talking about the pillow. They're talking about the pillow? They're talking about the pillow. Is Aiden pulling up the rule book going, Is the pillow legal? No, no. <laughs> I, think, I think Aiden wants a pillow. Does Aiden want a pillow? Aiden wants the pillow. I, I'm going to pitch him something. I'll lie across his lap and be his pillow. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'm going to pitch him something. I'm soft. <laughs> oh, where's my water bottle? Shit. <laughs> Fuck. We've lost the water bottle, Chad. Oh, I know where it is. You know where it is? It's at the setup. It's at the setup. Ah, uh, I'm sorry, Loz. I lost to Nick. You lost to Nick? Yeah, I say Nick. Yeah, that's, that's my unlucky. bad. That's unlucky. You should have won that. It was a it was a close three zero loss. You win those. It was a close three zero. You win those. Yeah, it was a, again. It was close three zero. The doctor just didn't doctor hard enough. It's true. And close three zero. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nice of you to let him win. <laughs> <laughs> well, he he seemed pretty upset after losing to Yosh, you know. So I don't know. Yeah, I just don't yeah. know. I mean, on. look, it was getting into the point of where it might be assault, you know. Are these guys going to play or are they going to just talk? They love the pillow. Are they uh, sharing pillows? What's up with this pillow talk? Damn, I was going to... I was going to pitch him... Mogul Moves Pillow. Think about that. They'll make millions. <laughs> the Mogul Moves Pillow? They'll make millions. Well, like... Well, moist, got the moist Pillow. <laughs> moist Pillow. <laughs> moist Pillow. Moist Pillow. That's it. Moist That's pitical. it. That's it. Oh, they released something called a moist pitacle, and it's just an olive pita. Laws, when are you getting here, by the way? <laughs> and you too, Scalpy. What the fuck? We could have. It's you past know, lunchtime. You know what we could have? The Mogul Moves Waifu Collection, where they just release waifu stickers, big titty anime waifu stickers. So, like, you, can, so you can put so it. So I can put, put it more, on your. So I can put more on my PC computer. Setup. Dude, I have a water bottle that I just carry around because, like, okay, I I work for Gridiron Victoria, so American football, American football for yeah. Victoria, and they're off, and they're <laughs> off. Thank God, I have a water bottle that I bring only to football events that is just covered in those stickers. I do it because I just think it's funny. Everyone looks at me like I'm a weird kind of like, Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know why that would be like a weird. But <laughs> I th I think you know. <laughs> I'm fully aware. I just think it's funny. Nicholas, this is a perfectly normal time to have lunch, okay? It's 1 p.m. Yeah, that's perfect. That's lunch time. for dinner, bro. You're getting, a, you're getting a tattoo, Scalpy? Oh! What tattoo are you getting, Scalpy? Doc, Dr. Mario Stock Icon. Dr. Mario Stock Icon. Dr. Mario Stock Icon. Yeah, Rage looked at it like when you guys left and just went. <laughs> 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 <Yeah>. <laughs> oh shit, we got 
40 viewers now. 40 viewers! Because people are actually playing the game. Because people, yeah, because we've got Calvin and Rupert playing instead of r slash yeah. am I the asshole and r slash meth shit posting. Holy world. Oh shit. Uh, we got an ad. What's your favorite subreddit? You know, Sissy Hypno. <laughs> 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 R slash fanboys. <laughs> oh, you can't say that. What's up? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Starting. R slash fanboys. <laughs> I'm sorry, Lars. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, uh, to be honest, I only learned what that was because of Lou, and I fucking googled it, and I was like, "What is that?" <laughs> I'm telling Sumi. No, no, Sumi will get so upset at me. Don't say that, please. <laughs> I thought you had an ad. That's why I was. That's why I was so <laughs> confident to say it. I thought you had an ad. <laughs> Top tier content. I'll be honest. <laughs> oh shit! Rupert. Oh, holy shit! I mean, Rupert's slicing back and up. Rupert is. Okay, I know it's. That was a bit of a grimace from Aiden. But uh, I, I think Rupert might be extradited back to Canada after this. This is a big guy. Oh, you said Rupert. Rupert. That's He's going to Canada to get arrested for killing Calvin. Oh, that's too many layers. That's too many. That's layers. too many steps for the joke. You don't fuck with Julian Assange. That's that's too many. That guy's chill. Like you that fuck guy. with you fuck. Yeah, that guy's chill. <laughs> what are your thoughts that on that guy's a straight chill? What are your thoughts on whistleblowing laws and how they continue to be disregarded? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Rupert. I've Rupert, one zero. I mean, you can't beat homegrown talent. You can't beat homegrown talent. It's true. Rupert grew up in Victoria's backyard. He can do in Victoria as he pleases. I don't understand why people keep running down the stairs. Well, like, like, look, I know it's like six stairs, but can we fucking, like... They're pretty steep, though. They're just not. They're, they're just stairs. They're just normal stairs, man. They're just normal, man. They're just normal fucking stairs, cunt. Fucking... <laughs> <coughs> Yeah. I mean, hey, Aiden's <laughs> at least <laughs> fun. It's <laughs> true. I mean, I mean, just in the, the first game looked pretty Rupert. It was, yeah. But second yeah. game, Aiden's looking like he's taking a little bit of control yeah, back. He wants to start. shift that it's momentum. The first stop, you know, yeah, but he wants to shift back the momentum. It's true. Can't wait to hear about his set hit on Breakout Podcast, patreon.com slash watch slash the yard podcast. That was brain rot. That was actual brain rot. <laughs> I don't think I'm ever going to be the same after that. I, hope, I don't think I'm going to be the same after that. This is a hard matchup. I think it is a hard matchup. This is a real match. Okay. Uh, you, the way you were walking around made me think that they were just playing for fun. <laughs> you were like, what? Well, so, I mean... Ooh, Aiden. Could yeah, be losing yeah, the edge that he had, especially off the back of that okay. first stock. Uh, I'm off. I'm going to go get food. All right, bye, Tish. Sorry. Go have some fun getting a feed. Thank you for joining me in r slash fanboys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love that guy. He's funny. This is funny, bro. Aim at AirPods. Rupert Fremmels would be so fire. The winner of this place, Sumi, for top eight? Yes. The winner of this place, Sumi, for top eight. So I don't think any of them... Go any further than this. <laughs> but Abedim McAbedim, 1 0 down in terms of games, as Rupert eventually going to be sending Aiden to the Netherworld as two stocks apiece. Rupert, he's looking to have all of the momentum at the moment. Aiden needs to try and find something back. Like Calvin. This is Bracket. Sid, my friend, Sid. A pleasure. Pleasure, heaps. Flam. Flam. Good to meet you. <laughs> oh, it's Rupert. Oh, it's Rupert and Calvin. Rupert's up a game. Been a very close sort of matchup. Well, and I'm surprised that more people don't know about this because it was like the most amount of people today were watching uh, Calvin versus Monkey just before. I did see that. Went to a banger game five. I did see that. Did you get the storyline of Monkey beat Calvin in doubles yesterday? Sing, uh, and singles at the priest local as well. And singles at the priest local, and then Calvin comes back and beats Monkey in the doubles. 
That's then right, loses, man. and then <laughs> gets all the way back to main stage, and then Monkey's in the dumps because he's dog shit. I mean, so he's just over behind me. <laughs> he's here to support. He's here to support. He's here to support Rupert. Support Australia. Oh, we're going to be seeing Calvin taking his first game. 1-1. One, 1-1. One. One, one. You love to see it. Hey, Darby. Heaps mentioned Pog. <laughs> 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 I mean, this is the most viewers we've had all weekend, and it's 41, so we're doing quite well for ourselves at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> well, Rupert just playing, laying on a lot of pressure here. Doesn't look like Calvin's able to get out of the corner, but a leggy. Gets him out of trouble. Back into it. Man, Rupert can press buttons fast. He can. He's been... We saw his set against MC before. Um, we've sort of just been watching Rupert the entire bracket. Yeah, true. He's like, oh, I'm just going to bring whoever I'm playing to this setup so I can stream all my games. <laughs> We're like, I respect that. <laughs> Um, but he's been he's been pretty good. We saw him. I, I had I, when I when I was looking at Bracken, I saw it was Rupert versus MC. I, I spoke to Aiden. I was like, I, I actually have Rupert over MC. Yeah. Uh, like I, I sat there and I was like, oh, we saw MC yesterday. He played pretty aggressive. We saw Rupert yesterday. He was pretty passive. You know, he was more worried about landing the hit than actually trying to throw out a like a flurry of hits. And it right, 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 really picking their spots. Yeah. Picking his spots. Yeah. Oh, this should be Dami. Oh, went for a down air, but the hitbox wasn't uh, wide enough. Oh. Good grab and good pummel. One thing that I've noticed about Aiden over this weekend is that his tech chases are fucking awesome. You're going to have to explain to me what that is because this is my first melee event. <laughs> 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 so when you throw, he's going to down throw, and then Rupert's going to get knocked down on his back, and he's going to roll one side or the other side. Yeah. All right? Um, and Aiden, Calvin, can yeah. predict which way Rupert's going to roll. Either left, right, or in spot. Okay, alright. That that checks out now. <laughs> yeah, so it's like, as soon as somebody gets knocked onto their back, yeah. that's that time, that's money time for the other the other person. That's when the combo starts. Yeah. And that's called, uh, in, in ultimate terms, it's disadvantage, right? Yeah. Here it's tech chasing. Tech chasing or disadvantage, yeah, when you're uh, in the corner. But it, yeah, it's definitely a disadvantage. Oh my word, that was a sneaky out. board air. Boy. Is uh, Aiden going to take it all the way to the bank here? Rubik can't get out of this corner. And that's probably a mask killer. Rinse and repeat. Not quite. Rubik's got another chance at life. Gets back up. Calvin, a bit of a pummel, eventually sends him flying. Rupert wasn't able to get in any extra damage there, which is a bit unfortunate. Yeah. But that's still good work from Aiden to be able to punish and take advantage of a Rupert when, you know, he's struggling to sort of keep himself going. He had all Calvin had all the momentum in that situation. It took pure advantage to get it back to two to two, pretty much Aiden. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, really uh, commanded the stage, made sure they were centering himself in the middle of the stage, pushing Rupert into the corner and taking advantage from there. Oh, shield grab. That's a uh, dog move. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, are we seeing Rupert playing cringe? <laughs> <laughs> we did actually see in the player game. Oh! Go back and watch. Calvin did cringe. And he just shook his head then again. So we'll see if Calvin can okay, bring Cal himself back. Calvin did just get very unlucky. <laughs> <laughs> so I can understand why he's shaking his head. Oh. Another grab. All right, that's going to be Calvin evening it up. It's down to final stocks here. For series, oh, for what, for series point? Well, for yeah, this either is of these counter pick advantage, right? So the person that's going to uh, get their choice in the stage and their all important game five. But it comes to that. Rubens stacking on damage pretty fast. Oh, and he's going head hunting. No, no. Rupert's able to keep himself alive only just, but Calvin. Now looks to do damage. Starts to pummel Rupert as Rupert barely trying to keep himself on the stage as is. As Calvin continues to grab. Rupert will eventually fall off. Calvin will take the 2-1 lead. 
with a charged up smash as well. And it was so unfortunate because we saw Rupert on the ledge there. Ledge dash into the middle of the stage and then throw out a, uh, a wily down smash, right? And if that tippers, that's going to kill off the top. But it's not covering, like, so many moves, especially when you see the uh, Sheik in the middle of the stage. So, um, yeah, I'm crazy. not sure what Rupert really saw there. And it did pay off, I'll tell you that. Oh, that was crazy. Bro, this game's fucking fire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you start playing, man. <laughs> I'm like, uh, I'm not qu I don't have the eyes quick enough to be able to play this game. But you should start <laughs> commentating on the rake. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I, I commentate Counter-Strike all the time, and it's like, I don't understand what the fuck's happening in that game either. <laughs> <laughs> this one's a little bit easier to follow because there's no like, camera changes, right? You just got the box. Yeah, it's true. Get them out of the box. Rupert finding the down air there. All important smash the eye. Not getting hit by Aiden Calvin. Wasn't able to find the uh, stage or take and a miss ledge as well that's coming down two stocks and Rupert only has 13 percent hmm. Rupert could be making up for what was a lost set for that last set Calvin desperate trouble here Rupert needs to take advantage he can't allow Calvin to get back into this and force this to a game five patient patient Calvin's playing the, the long game Standing stoically, just pushing Rupert into that corner, trying to get some type of advantage here. Rupert's found a grab though. Oh, huge from Rupert. Oh, I just missed. As Calvin will now do the uh, cheeky edge guarding to try and get rid of Rupert, but Rupert not going anywhere. And when you see if somebody uh, roll into the corner there and put up a, a light shield, which is that big. Yeah, long the, lighter shield yeah. that's called the uh, the Marth killer um, and it's uh, something that normally works against Marth that they're forced to go onto stage and then you can rinse and repeat from there huge Rupert just takes another stock we're going to see Calvin on his last stock yep and at this point I mean you can try you can still fight against Rupert but I don't know this matchup you're going to you're going to find yourself getting a few trades a bit of damage in between the stocks in between the combos do you believe in Miracles Heap? Uh, multiple. I'm, I'm, I'm not just one heap, I'm multiple heaps. Oh, well, multiple heaps, sorry. Um, I just heard you the first time, my bad, I'm nah, sorry. That's alright, that's alright. I don't believe. You don't believe in miracles? Believe in miracles. Thank God you didn't believe, because Calvin couldn't, couldn't make it happen. Game five. Game five, this is where it gets fun. This is where it's all on the line for all the marbles, all the beans. And this is what I was talking about, counter pick advantage. This was Aiden's stage to pick. Yeah. So will they squeak out the um, the advantage with the stage pick? I'm not too certain. These low platforms can come in handy for Marth. Although Aiden's got something to say about that. A sneaky needle. Marth killer. Rinse and repeat. Down here. Ruby can keep himself in it. He's definitely going to, but without landing a single hit so far. Calvin has all of the momentum. Oh, Calvin opting not to go for the forward air there, really cognizant of the of the platform height and waiting for the tech roll from Rupert and really punishing getting the kill at the end there. Yeah, this Sheik's pretty cool. He started a podcast with a few of his friends. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that in chat. I'm like, sure he has funny. something to say. <laughs> <laughs> He sounds like he's got really good insight into what's current world political events. <laughs> <laughs> Up tilt? No, a forward smash. Rupert's a better player than I am, I can tell you that. Down to three stocks apiece. Okay, Aiden pushing, 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 playing the patient game, not going too deep. Deep with the dash attack, it did pay off. Sometimes it can be a bit dodgy dash attacking into the corner because if whiffs, then you're giving your opponent all of the stage. Here comes Calvin. Oh, big damage. Rupert will get punished for it. Calvin, a stock up. A clean stock. Here comes Rupert, though. Rupert needs his stock as clean as he can. Absolutely. And then that He's next one as well. Already in a, a crucial percent where most things knock down and most things will start to combo. Oh, Rupert's gone. That's going to be tough. Rupert has to get this kill very fast and maybe a gimp to be able to seal this one out. There it goes. That's probably a dead sheik. Yep. That's huge. But Calvin, one clean stock up. Exactly. And for Rupert at the moment, 
You know, the homegrown hero needs a little bit of a miracle to potentially force the international all the way back home as Rupert at the moment. It looks like it's sort of been the, the tale of the entire series where he just really hasn't been able to find consistent momentum. He's been able to find flashes here and there. He's been able to get himself, you know, those really quick one to two minutes where he has all of the control, but Calvin immediately will take it right back and Rupert... He sort of needs it at the moment. And that's the plight of this matchup, the Sheik Math matchup. Sometimes you can't stay on top of things. And Aiden with a little mini plat pop off, slapping the knee. Well deserved game five. I thought it would have been bigger than that, that little pop off there. But um, yeah, Aiden's going to move on. That was a loser's set, so that does mean Rupert is out of the competition. I think at 13th, correct me if I'm wrong, chat. Oh, uh, no. Now we've got Aiden Calvin with a chance to make it into top eight loser's side. If they win their next match. So whoever's there. Uh, I don't actually have my phone. No, I do have It'll my phone. It'll be Sumi. Sumi. Yes, you're so right. They play Sumi. Yep, 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 yep. 